anyways, um, as you know, we're getting ready to leave for um, Magna Island. And I need to clean up my boys. Oh, this, is, this thing's kind of wiggly. There we go. I need to clean up their paws, trim their um, nails, clean up their butt area. Let's see if you can see his butt area. Yes. I need to clean up their butt area and um, their, around their eyes. So I thought I would show you guys the wall uh, peanut that I purchased. A lot of you were kind of disappointed that I didn't show actually using them. So I thought I would best I can film this. My dogs are upstairs howling. I wonder if you guys can hear that. Oh, they stopped. <laughs> they're howling because I have Mickey. They know I'm in the house and they don't know why they're in their houses because I'm here. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys how these work. Let me see when I move this. Um, trimming the paw. Now you probably, I'm not going to talk because you probably won't be able to hear me, but I'm going to best I can videotape how I clean up the bottom of their paw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here at the top of this pad. I'm going to shave that off and then I'm going to shave in between the pads. I'm going to leave hair on the sides because I don't want the um, front of the uh, toenails and toes to show uh, too much. But I want this all cleaned up in here because all this hair, when it's wet and nasty out, brings dirt in. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And here's a, let's see. Here's a before, and I'll show you the after. It's not too much hair I'm taking off, but I just want it all cleaned up before we go. As you can see, I can get right in between the pads, and this does not cut them. I'm not gouging in there or anything. But you might see their foot jerking because it's vibrating and probably tickling them. Hopefully you can see that. Doing on the side of this pad. I need to groom them probably uh, that week when we uh, next week. Mickey, why are you jerking your foot? <laughs> Stop. Stop jerking your foot. Sorry, my hand's probably in the way for most of this. This is why I did not videotape it um, last time. Because <laughs> I was scared I'd just be in the way. So I can't get a good lighting or camera angle. Let's see here. <laughs> Every time I touch him, he's like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I missed some right there. Let's see. She keeps jerking on me. She keeps jerking on me. Yes, you do. I tried to get up by the toenails here. You get a lot of hair right here. Just kind of pull it forward into the pad. There, that's pretty good. Let's see. Let me scoot him back and show you the paw, how clean it is. And then I just, uh, where's my scissors? Stay right there. What did I do with them? Oh, they're over here. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but I didn't take much hair off. But that little bit of hair carries in a lot of dirt. So then I pull the hair out from the sides. Oh my goodness, my dogs are having a fit up there. Glad the windows are shut so my neighbors don't hear that. <laughs> and then I just kind of pull the hair away from the sides of the paw. And you're making this kind of difficult, Maggie. And just kind of trim around the toes. Keeping it so you still don't see uh, the toenails. Like I said, I'm not doing a full groom. I'm just doing their feet and their butts and and then when I see something I don't like, I kind of trim it up. <laughs> Can't help myself. But there you go. That's what I do. That's how in the wall peanuts work. And here they are. 
They're small, they fit right in your hand, they're easy to maneuver, um, and they cut great. So there's the back of the paw again. So now I'm gonna do the butt area. Let's see if I can um, lift the camera here. Let me turn this off for a minute and reposition it. Okay. There we go, that should be good. So now here's on the butt area. I just pull the tail up and I don't push in hard. I just lightly go over the hair. You have to turn around a little here, Meg. And I lift it up as much as I can and go right over that hair. And I go up about right, uh, about a finger width. And you can really get in there with these without cutting them. I kind of do the hair right here. Get that all cleaned up. Now these walls cut short, so you get unless you got a guard on, so you got to be careful. You're not cutting too short. You want to kind of get all this area because, you know, stuff can drip down without being too gross about it. <laughs> I hope my head isn't in the way. There. Then I'm going to probably take the scissors because if you guys have schnauzers, you know this tip gets a little, uh, long hair on it. I'm going to trim around there. Make it look nice since I'm not totally grooming them. And then sometimes I pull this hair down. Just kind of trim it up because I don't want it too short since I'm not grooming them. Just kind of trim it up. And I see a spot I missed. And there you go. There's the butt area all cleaned up. So now I'm going to trim his toenails. I'll do that while I got you videotaping. Let's see. I'm going to turn him around. Turn you around. Let's see. Can you see his feet? Probably not. There. You can see his feet. Oh, I forgot. I got to. Oh, I'm not going to trim his toenails. I'll trim his toenails now so you can see. I haven't done all his feet. I forgot. I only did that one foot. Their toenails get so long so fast. I cut them about every two weeks. Not their back toenails as much because they um they launch with those back feet. <laughs> so those ones stay a little shorter. Miggy, you're good. I just did Magnum and I was doing Magnum's last foot, clipping his toenails, and he tried to bite me. We corrected that real fast. Yes, we did, Miggy. We corrected that real fast. <laughs> yeah, Magnum's a little stinker, let me tell you. He, I think when we get back from Mackinac, I need to um, schedule his appointment to get him neutered because he's trying to be... Um, boss over everyone, even me, a little bit. Okay, last foot. This is the one I cleaned up. I can tell because I can see the toenails better. Okay, so there's the wall peanut for those who um, wanted to see them in action, me doing it. I'm going to finish up the rest of his feet and then um, trim up his eyebrows. And maybe I'll come back and show you that too. Okay, I'm going to trim up these eyebrows. And they're not wet anymore, so it's going to be a little bit harder. And I don't know if he's going to keep his head in, in uh, 
camera. <laughs> we'll see here. I'm gonna hold his beard. I'm not hurting him. Just for those who are curious, I'm trying to let Unmiggy some of this hair right here grow longer. So I'm gonna try to hold that down and trim these eyebrows up a little. I put my hand, I put my fingers kind of like a hairdresser under the hairs and pull them up. I'm not doing a total groom on them, so I'm just trying to cut them shorter. Oh geez, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, guys. Maybe the next eyebrow. And then I push them forward. And get what I missed. Like I said, my dogs are not um, showroom cuts. They're like how I want them cut. <laughs> See that hair right there? I always get, and I'm trying to get that to grow out. Their eyebrows are getting way too long. Way too long, aren't they? Yes. And then I get, I don't know how much of that you guys saw. Um, I comb the hair towards the eye right here. And I take my scissors. And cut that like at a diagonal. Okay, let's do this one. Maybe this one will be easier to sh see. If his eyebrows were still wet, this would be so much easier. But they're dry now. Kind of give it a quick trim. Then I'm going to put my finger under there. And you can't move your head, Maggie. You can't move your head. No. Because then I might mess up. Yes, then I might mess up. Cause this hair gets long, gets in their eyes, and irritates them. See some of this hair is short where I've messed up before? I'm trying to get that to grow uh, longer on them. I make mistakes too, guys. <laughs> Or I try new things and I'm like, nope, I don't like that. And then I gotta let it grow out. So, you're gonna make mistakes, but their hair grows so darn fast that if you do, in a couple weeks, it'll, be, it'll grow back. <laughs> so, these are not exactly how I want them, but Mickey, look up here. They're a lot shorter and you can see his eyes. Yes, yes you can, and he can see. Good boy. All right guys, so I probably won't have another video out for a while. I'm gonna try to film when we're in um, Mackinac. We're, going to, we're staying in Mackinac City, and we're either going over to the island on Saturday or Sunday, not sure yet. We're waiting for the, um, I'm gonna look at his beard. See, I can't help myself. Um, it's supposed to possibly rain. Saturday, so we got to keep an eye on the weather and um, decide what day we're going to go over there. But we'll be able to, if it rains, we can explore Mackinac City, go shopping, do some stuff. And there's a Fort Michelin Mackinac there. We can go over the Mackinac Bridge, which I hate. Oh my God, you guys, I'm terrified of bridges. Terrified. Um, but St. Ignace across the bridge is so, is a cute little town, so we could go over there. I'll just have to close my eyes and pray <laughs> going across that bridge. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't see me on social media, it's because we're getting ready to go on our trip and we're going to be busy and Mickey says bye. We'll see you later. <laughs> bye, guys.